Let them lose you. You need to let people lose you. Let them go along with the crowd. Let them believe what they want to believe. Let them think they have better. Let them sleep on your worth. Because in due time, they will realize the mistake they made. And it will be just enough time for you to accept that you're better off without them. It is just another heartbreak. One more thing that makes you realize how important you are. One incident that made you realize to find your way back. You have even lived in the world for more than 20 years. But why are you so broken just because of a month relationship? Just come on, honey. It is enough. Too many chances and still end up messing it up again. How many times has the universe realized that the two of you weren't compatible from the start? You're not strong enough against the power of the universe, see? You're back to yourself, which only makes you hug warmly. I know the memory is very magnificent. Enjoying the city streets at night, discussing interesting topics non-stop in the coffee shop until 2 a.m., together walking through town with your favorite playlist, crying with failure, even engrossed in planning for such a bright future. However, you are already complacent because you forgot self-control. Don't you realize you're missing something else? Reflect on yourself. Welcome to Virtue Vibes, a sanctuary for those seeking inspiration, guidance and support on their journey towards living a fulfilling life. Today, we're going to explore a topic that may be holding you back from reaching your full potential. Toxic relationships. As humans, we're wired to connect with others, to form meaningful bonds and to build relationships that bring joy and happiness into our lives. But what happens when those relationships turn sour? When the people we trust and love become the source of our pain and suffering? Toxic relationships can take many forms. They can be romantic, platonic, or even familial. They can be draining, manipulative, and emotionally abusive. And they can leave us feeling lost, alone, and unsure of how to break free. If you're reading this, Chances are you're no stranger to toxic relationships. You may be currently stuck in one, or you may have recently escaped one. Either way, you're here because you're seeking a way out. You're seeking a way to heal, to move forward, and to rediscover your true self. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to explore the ins and outs of toxic relationships, and we're going to provide you with the tools and guidance you need to break free and start anew. We'll delve into the signs and symptoms of toxic relationships and we'll discuss the ways in which they can affect our mental and emotional well-being. We'll explore the reasons why we stay in these relationships and we'll provide you with practical advice on how to leave them behind. We'll also talk about the importance of self-care and self-love and we'll provide you with tips and techniques for cultivating a positive and healthy mindset. And finally, we'll discuss the power of forgiveness and we'll show you how to let go of the past and move forward with grace and dignity. So, if you're ready to break free from the chains of toxicity and start living the life you deserve, then keep watching. Because in this video, we're going to show you how to let them loose you and start living the life you've always dreamed of. Remember, you deserve to be loved, respected and cherished. You deserve to be happy, healthy and whole. And you deserve to live a life that's free from toxicity and full of purpose and meaning. So let's get started on this journey together. Let's explore the world of toxic relationships and let's discover the power of freedom and forgiveness. Let's show the world what it means to be strong, resilient and full of life. And most importantly, let's remember that we're not alone. We're in this together and we're going to rise above the toxicity and shine our light for the world to see. So let's do this, beautiful souls. Let's let them loose you and start living the life we deserve. Section 1. The Hidden Dangers of Toxic Relationships Toxic relationships can be incredibly damaging, yet they often go unnoticed or unrecognized. We may find ourselves stuck in a cycle of abuse, manipulation or emotional draining without even realizing it. It's essential to understand the signs and symptoms of toxic relationships as well as their impact on our mental and emotional well-being. Types of toxic relationships. 
Toxic relationships can take many forms, including romantic relationships, partner abuse, gaslighting, emotional manipulation, friendships, emotional draining, gossip, betrayal, family relationships, emotional abuse, neglect, enabling, work relationships, bullying, harassment, exploitation. Welcome to Virtue Vibes, a sanctuary for self-discovery, personal growth and empowerment. If you're new here, consider subscribing for a journey of transformation and self-love. Today, we're embarking on a profound exploration. Three solid reasons why your ex actually needs to lose you. Yes, you read that right. It may seem counterintuitive at first, but bear with me and you'll uncover the liberating truth. Think about it. Most strategies in this process are geared towards deliberately making your ex want you back or improving your future relationship, but it needs to run deeper than that. Even the concept of we need to create this new and better relationship has something to do with your ex. Where do you come in? Where do your personal growth and healing fit in? Because when your ex breaks up with you, whether you like it or not, it's them admitting that they think they can do better than you. It's them basically saying, I don't want you back, leave me alone. And that can take a huge toll on your self-confidence and self-esteem, especially if you're trying to get your ex back. Okay then, what actually works? What we have found over the years is that if you want to try to approach getting your ex back, you have to first train yourself to let go of them. As we navigate the complexities of love, relationships and heartbreak, it's easy to get lost in the whirlwind of emotions. We often find ourselves clinging to the familiarity of a past love, hoping to rekindle what once was or seeking closure. But what if I told you that your ex's loss is not your problem, it's their opportunity for growth? In this video, we'll delve into the transformative power of release, self-love and personal evolution. We'll explore how your ex's inability to appreciate your worth, respect your boundaries, or prioritize your well-being is not a reflection of your value, but rather a testament to their own limitations. Through this journey, you'll discover that your worth and identity extend far beyond the confines of any relationship. You'll learn to embrace your uniqueness, celebrate your strengths, and nurture your resilience you'll realize that your ex's loss is not a failure on your part, but a chance for them to confront their own flaws, insecurities and unhealthy patterns. So if you're ready to break free from the shackles of heartbreak, let go of the past and embrace your true potential, then join me on this empowering adventure.
let's uncover the three solid reasons why your ex actually needs to lose you and how this realization can be the catalyst for your transformation, growth, and ultimate triumph. Get comfortable, take a deep breath, and let's dive into the liberating world of self-love and personal growth. Your journey to empowerment starts now. Reason hash one, you deserve better. When a relationship ends, it's natural to feel a sense of loss and longing. We invest so much of ourselves in our partners, and it can be challenging to let go of the hopes and dreams we had for our future together. But it's essential to remember that you deserve better. You deserve better than someone who didn't appreciate your worth, respect your boundaries, or prioritize your well-being. You deserve someone who will love and cherish you for who you are, flaws and all. You deserve someone who will support your goals, encourage your growth, and celebrate your successes. When we settle for someone who doesn't meet us at our worth, we compromise our own happiness and fulfillment. We may feel like we're getting by, but deep down, we know we're not living the life we truly desire. We may feel like we're stuck in a rut, like we're not good enough, or like we're not worthy of love and respect. But I want you to know that you are worthy. You are worthy of love, care and respect, not just from others, but from yourself. You deserve to be treated with kindness, compassion and understanding. You deserve to be seen, heard and valued. Your ex's inability to meet you at your worth is not a reflection of your value. It's a reflection of their own limitations. It's a sign that they're not ready, willing or able to give you what you deserve. And that's okay. It's not your job to fix them or change them. It's your job to take care of yourself and prioritize your own happiness. Remember, you are not defined by your past relationships or your ex's opinions. You are a unique, talented and capable individual with so much to offer the world. You have a purpose, a passion and a voice that deserves to be heard. So don't settle for someone who doesn't see your worth. Don't compromise your own happiness and fulfillment. You deserve better, and it's time to start believing it. Here are some affirmations to help you remember your worth. I am worthy of love, care and respect. I deserve to be treated with kindness and compassion. I am enough just as I am.
challenges include difficulty, letting go, struggling to release the emotional burden of resentment and anger, fear of being hurt again. Fear of being hurt again can make it difficult to forgive and move forward. Lack of closure. Not having closure can make it challenging to forgive and move on. Overcoming challenges. To overcome these challenges, it's essential to be patient. Forgiveness is a journey and it may take time. Seek support. Surround yourself with supportive people who encourage and support your journey. Focus on self-care. Prioritize self-care and self-compassion. Practice mindfulness. Focus on the present moment and let go of negative thoughts. Forgiveness is a powerful tool that can help us move forward and find peace after experiencing a toxic relationship. Remember, forgiveness is a journey and it may take time. Be patient, kind and compassionate with yourself as you navigate this process. We'll explore the importance of self-care and self-love in the healing process. Section 5. The Power of Self-Care and Self-Love Self-care and self-love are essential components of the healing process after a toxic relationship. Taking care of your physical, emotional and mental well-being is crucial for rebuilding your sense of self and moving forward. Understanding Self-Care Self-care is not just about pampering yourself, but about taking care of your overall well-being. It involves making conscious choices to prioritize your health, happiness and fulfillment. Benefits of Self-Care Self-care has numerous benefits, including improved mental health, enhanced emotional resilience, better physical health, increased self-awareness, improved relationships, types of self-care, Self-care can take many forms, including charm, physical self-care, exercise, healthy eating, sleep, emotional self-care, journaling, meditation, therapy, mental self-care, reading, learning, creative pursuits, spiritual self-care, prayer, mindfulness, connection with nature, prioritizing self-love. Self-love is the practice of accepting and loving yourself exactly as you are. It involves cultivating a positive self-image, acknowledging your worth, and treating yourself with kindness and compassion. Benefits of self-love. Self-love has numerous benefits, including increased confidence, improved self-esteem, better relationships, greater resilience, improved mental health, cultivating self-love. Self-love can be cultivated through positive affirmations, self-compassion, mindfulness, self-reflection, gratitude practices, Challenges of self-care and self-love Common challenges to self-care and self-love include Lack of time Negative self-talk Fear of selfishness Difficulty setting boundaries Past trauma or abuse Overcoming challenges To overcome these challenges it's essential to Prioritize self-care and self-love Set boundaries Practice self-compassion Seek support Focus on progress not perfection Self-care and self-love are essential components of the healing process after a toxic relationship. By prioritizing your physical, emotional and mental well-being, you can rebuild your sense of self and move forward with confidence and resilience. Remember, self-care and self-love are not selfish. They are necessary for a happy, healthy and fulfilling life. Section 6. Building Healthy Relationships Building healthy relationships is an essential part of moving forward after a toxic relationship. Healthy relationships involve mutual respect, trust and communication and can provide a sense of belonging, support and joy. Characteristics of healthy relationships. Healthy relationships involve mutual respect, trust, open and honest communication, emotional intelligence, boundaries, support and encouragement compromise and problem-solving, shared values and goals. Types of healthy relationships. Healthy relationships can take many forms, including romantic relationships, friendships, family relationships, professional relationships, community relationships, building healthy relationships. Building healthy relationships involves self-reflection and self-awareness, identifying and setting boundaries, 
communicating openly and honestly, practicing active listening, showing empathy and understanding, being supportive and encouraging, respecting differences and disagreements, fostering a sense of trust and loyalty, challenges of building healthy relationships, common challenges to building healthy relationship. Self-care routines. Develop a daily routine that nourishes your body, mind and spirit, such as exercise, reading or spending time in nature. Creative expression. Engage in creative activities like art, music or writing to express yourself and tap into your creativity. Boundary setting. Learn to say no, set healthy boundaries and prioritize your own needs and desires. Remember, focusing on yourself is not a luxury, it's a necessity. You deserve to take care of yourself and you deserve to live a happy, fulfilling life. In the next segment, we'll explore Reason Hash 3. Your ex needs to learn and grow. Get ready to dive deeper into the world of personal growth and transformation. Reason Hash 3. Your ex needs to learn and grow. When a relationship ends, it's natural to feel a sense of loss and longing. We may wonder what we did wrong, what we could have done differently, and how we can win our ex back. But the truth is, your ex needs to learn and grow, just like you do. You see, relationships are a reflection of our own growth, development and evolution. They mirror our strengths, weaknesses and areas for improvement. And when a relationship ends, it's not always because of something we did or didn't do. It's often because we've outgrown each other. Your ex may have been a great partner at one time, but people change, grow and evolve. Sometimes we outgrow each other and that's okay. It doesn't mean that the relationship was a failure or that we didn't love each other. It means that we've both changed and need to move forward. By letting go of the relationship and focusing on your own growth and development, you're giving your ex the opportunity to do the same. You're allowing them to learn, grow and evolve in their own way without the burden of trying to make the relationship work. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. They require effort, commitment and growth from both partners. And when one partner is no longer willing or able to put in the work, the relationship suffers. By releasing the relationship, you're giving your ex the chance to learn from their mistakes and grow as a person, develop emotional intelligence and empathy, cultivate self-awareness and self-reflection, build resilience and coping skills, discover their own passions and purpose. And who knows, maybe your ex will come back into your life when they've grown and learned enough to appreciate you for 